Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is another episode of Tech Sundays and in today's episode we are going to discuss about UTC now versus UTC today as well as we will discuss about today versus now. So why these are very important DAX functions and why should we use them? Well, suppose you want to display the refresh time of your data set into your reports, then how you are going to do that? Because we know that on Power BI service only UTC dates or times are going to get displayed. So how you can display the local date time onto your Power BI services? Well, if you would like to know more about it, I'm going to let you know everything in this video. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. So what is the difference between these two DAX functions exactly? Well, as you can see on your screen, UTC now is going to return you the current date and time in date time format expressed in universal coordinated time or coordinated universal time. You can say it either way, but remember the UTC. UTC is your universal coordinated time while every other country have their own time zone. So always this kind of question comes into our mind how to convert your UTC time into your local time zone because whenever you are going to publish your reports on Power BI services that always consider the UTC time. So in that scenario how to overcome that kind of constraint? Well I'm going to let you know in this video. But before going into that let's consider the syntax for UTC now. It's very simple just write UTC now. It's going to return you a single date time value that would be in UTC date and time format. However, you should always remember that the results of the UTC now function changes only when the formula is refreshed. That means when your data set is going to refresh when you are using either this function into your column or you are using into a measure. By column, I mean to say a calculated column. Similarly, UTC today is going to give you a date. It's not going to give you a time. You would see the time over there like the 12 a.m. However, you should remember that this is not the exact time at the time you have refreshed your data set or at the time you have used or recalculated your formula. The result of the UTC today function changes only when the column that contains the formula is refreshed. This is not going to update continuously. So please do remember these always. We are also going to talk about now and today. Now and today are exactly same as UTC now and UTC today except they are going to calculate based on your local time zone that you have set onto your machine or on your laptop. So now let's have a look. Over here if I'll go to the demo tab you would find I have already written down these four DAX functions that is now, UTC now today and UTC today. Now over here you can see the now time is 11.03.34 am which is same as my local time over here you can see on the right hand side top corner. However the UTC time is different that is 2 hour behind my local time. So this is the main difference. If I'm going to publish the same report on the Power BI services, you will notice that it's going to return the same time. Whether it's now or today, both are going to come under the UTC format. So let's check. For that, I have to publish this report onto my Power BI services. I'm going to click over here, publish, save it. And I have many workspaces over here, as you can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to publish it initially into my workspace. Let's select this one. And publish it over there. Now in order to check that whether these functions are working correctly or not or how they are behaving we have to go to Power BI services and for that you can directly click on this link. It's gonna pop up to sign in into your account and for that we are gonna sign in into our account and I have to use a different account so let me just use it. And here you go. So over here you can notice that now UTC now today and UTC today all are same there's no difference and why is that? 
It's because your Power BI service portal always going to consider the UTC data in format and it's going to display it over here. Now, in order to display your local date time format or the data set refresh time, then you have to come back to your Power BI file and here we need to create another measure. As you can see, if I'm going to refresh this file, there's a time difference of two hours between my local time and the UTC time format. My local time is two hours ahead of the UTC time format. So in order to display my local time onto Power BI service portal, we have to create another measure and I'm going to call it local time. And I'm going to add two hours into this one. Why I'm adding two hours into this one? Because my local time is two hours ahead than the UTC time format. And in order to add hours, you have to write the number of hours you want to add and divide it by 24. Now you would ask me why I'm doing so? Because if you are going to add simply any numbers, it's going to add number of days into your UTC now, date time. And if you need to add the hours, you have to divide by 24 because in one day we have 24 hours. Always remember that and it's going to be very helpful for you. Now simply hit the enter button and this function is going to be created over here. Now you can see that I have local time, so I'm going to drag and drop it over here. And here you will notice my this now function and the local time now is displaying the same. Now our expectation is that whenever I'm going to publish this report into my Power BI service portal, I should get my local time over there. And that would be my refresh time. And for that, let's once again publish this report. So now we are checking it over here and you can see that my local time now is the local time that I have created this report which you can see at the bottom right hand side corner as well. So this is the way you can use the UTC now versus UTC today or now versus today as well functions. It just depends what you are expecting and how would you like to display your date time onto your Power BI service portal for your different reports and dashboards. I hope you liked today's video and now I'm sure you know how to display local date time onto your Power BI services on your report and dashboards. If you would like to know more or if you would like to learn something more like you want to get some Power BI trainings or maybe you are interested in learning some more courses, please don't forget to visit our website that is www.biconsultingpro.com. Also you can connect with us directly from that website. And if you are new over here on our YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI updates and videos. See you in the next video.